Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. The following contest is a tag team extreme rules match. And it is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. And at a combined weight of 400 pounds, the Raw I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against each other. They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. And we're about to see that passion on display. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day! The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. Just look at the Judgment Day, powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. The goal is obtaining those tag team championships. Being on the same page will be vital in this one. The Judgment Day has turned themselves into one of the most formidable groups in all of WWE. Cutthroat tactics, rule bending, backstage ambushes. They'll do whatever it takes to win. I respect Judgment Day's approach to competition. Why play by the rules and wait your turn when you can just go take what you want? If you don't like it, then stay out of the way. Staying out of Judgment Day's business might be easier said than done. They're always looking for their next target to annihilate. But they're facing a team with endless reserves of fighting spirit. D.I.Y. You know Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano will fight with every fiber of their being. Their hearts well documented, and Gargano and Ciampa will fight until the final beat. Ooh. Kick to the gut, and a big right hand. What advice would you give to someone going into an Extreme Rules match? Well, there's one thing these matches have taught us. It's that creativity usually wins the day. Don't just swing a chair. Find a way to make the stipulation work for you. Oh, just turn that around. Balor not backing down one bit. Snapping the neck. Uh-oh, the forearm's gonna cut off the wind. Guillotine a He is desperately trying to maneuver out of this and successfully does. The methodical channel perhaps not quite prepared for that. Balor really sent a message there. Well, that didn't go as Johnny designed.
this could be a tipping point in this match. Once and for all, who is the best? Rivalries like this can be excellent motivators, pushing superstars to new heights or forcing them to take drastic measures to ensure victory. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Buster for the title. And he makes the save for his team. Oof. Oh my god, the table's on fire! This is insane, you can't do this! He's heading back to the ring. Awesome. Caught him right in the jaw! Oh, what a shot! Close fist connects! Kick right on point. Wedging the chair into the turnbuckles. Shifts it back onto him. A big punch. Ouch. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. You ask for extreme, you get extreme. Though this looks like a little more than was bargained for. Tommaso taking a step back and measuring his opponent. And frustration might be starting to set in. I've been waiting for it the whole time. Raises the shoulder before the one count. I didn't think this match was close to over. Back in the ring now. He's making his intentions known to everyone in the arena. Come on, seriously? Is this really what it is? A hellacious maneuver trying to hit through the table. The table is showing the amount of animosity that has flooded this matchup. He's got the chair set up. Oh boy, this is not going to be good. He'll take things into the ring. Champ getting worked over here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Gargano needs to harness the energy from the crowd and get back on the right side of this battle. He needs to get off his back and fight. Caught square by the Haymaker. Setting up for something here. Piercing the throat. For the championship. Baby makes the save. Man, just in time. Out of the ring, what's this plan here? Champa just looking to humiliate with the ball. What a pass! Right in the kisser. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. He's about to become the chairman. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Straight to the My goodness. them right where they want them, into the corner. DDT! Spike them. Oh, kick right in the back. Oh. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Full club. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And that one's scouted. He breaks the ref's count after one. He's still got life in this matchup. Yeah. Counter with an ambitious clothesline. Cover for the championship. Got it, and the tag titles 
change hands here tonight. Here are your winners, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day! And tonight, DIY just couldn't do it. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. has plenty to fear. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing Indus Sher from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds, Veer Mahan! It took a while for Veer to arrive, but he's been dominating ever since. Yeah, Mahan's got big victories over many top names in WWE, including Rey Mysterio. Look at the rage in the eyes of fear. I fear for the opposition tonight. Six foot eight, 300 pounds. Here comes Sangha. And his partner, representing Indusher from India, weighing in at 297 pounds. One of the most dangerous and imposing competitors to ever come out of India. We've seen his path of destruction in NXT, but now he is focused on all of WWE. Zong attempts to stay silent and lets his actions in the ring do the talking. And he's prepared to make quite a statement tonight. approach the ring every night as if it's a battlefield and they fight accordingly. Yeah, holding back is apparently not in the Viking playbook. But intimidation certainly is. These warriors are a scary sight. These three take no prisoners. That's how you know this will get ugly. The Viking Raiders looking to make their presence known in this match here tonight. Uh, I don't think their presence is ever questioned, Cole. From their entrance to the ring of the belt, the Viking Raiders are all gas and no brakes. I don't know if anyone can match the sort of intensity that Eric and Ivar possess. If he had let me finish, Corey, that's where I was going. But to add to our point, it's not just the imagery that establishes the Raiders' presence, but also their unbelievable athleticism. And they are facing the determined team of Indusher. It's clear they will not stop at anything to stand on top of the mountain of the tag team division. Yeah, Saxton, and you will know them by the trail of bodies in their wake. That's a 
Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Go on, big back body drop. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Big forearm. Say something. Tag is good. Power slam. Good night. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Take this match as long and as far as he needs to. A panel suplex. Uh oh, this isn't going to be pretty. Suplex. Producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Smart attacking the arm. Here he comes off the tag. Carried 
Unsure what they're thinking. Snake eyes. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with it. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Tag is good. His tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. Uh-oh. Cutting off the offense with a nasty chop block. Of style the Viking Raiders being met in kind there. Yeah, Beard just showed a ton of fire on that one. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. What a press. Good golly, what a knee. Tagging his partner in now. Shoulder tackle. Two. He's still got more left in the tank. Mistake made by Ivar. Yes, tag. Vertical suplex. Nice. Military class. And that was taking the attack. No doubt, Eric ended this. How, wait, 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 how can that be fair? Come on, Rep, keep these guys in check. Ooh, he's running on empty right now. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. The WWE Universe can't believe what these Warriors are doing to one another. Everyone's fired up. What a battle. Oh, close line. Just pure instinct at this point. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Put down. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. There's the tag. Vicious right forearm. Setting up. All the way out. Plex. Boom. Right across the small of the back. Oh, what impact. Oh, that's going to hurt. High bar heads up. This is going to be good. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. From the top, diving double axe handle. He turns it around. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Elbow puts an end to that. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Getting tossed around. Oh, loving it. Sit out the first pile driver. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here I go. Strong dividends with an impressive tag team win.
This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight. Ronda Rousey is here. Clear the way, folks. Here comes the baddest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. The baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Pure lethal striking skills and the world's best submission specialist. Listen to this place! They're going nuts! Here comes everyone's favorite bundle of insanity. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross! The superheroes flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. This woman has to contend with the judo expertise and striking of a mixed martial arts legend. Is she prepared? for Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. No disqualification, no count outs. We're guaranteed to see a train load of carnage before this one is through. Yeah, this is the type of match where grudges get even uglier. You never know who or what will come out of the woodwork in a battle like this. Well, that's when some outside interference becomes a factor, Corey. We all know that WWE superstars never forget a grudge. Down, down the impact. A power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. One after another, showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught! As the wrist trapped, and this is just next level brutality. I think Rage took over in that moment. Were you guys expecting this? Not at all. She has decided to insert herself in this match, and remember, the uh, rest of the line fits cinched in, fighting desperately. She rolls her way out of the submission and takes control. That is a She steers clear of that one. Nikki Cross just goading her opponent. She left herself open. Ronda with a layout, Yurinagi. Whoa, what a save. That should have been three. Rousey goes down low. Opponent hooked. And then a rolling Piper's pit. Shayna look. Cutting her off there. Smart strategy. Ah, oh, jeez. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. Oh, boy. Kendo stick in hand. Nefarious look in her eyes. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. There's press and there's press. Every strike more devastating than the last. Snap suplex. Ah, 
she's trying, trying to create space. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Oh, through the air and connects. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Nasty one right to the chest. Well-scattered reversal there. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. This has been building and building between them for so long. Yeah, Saxton, and it's almost impossible to know what will be the final nail in the coffin for this feud. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Uh-oh. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Nice counter from Cross. Jeez, that could take you out. No! So much damage inflicted. What a barrage of stops. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Here we go. Tremendous drop kick. She turns it right around with a counter. As the arm ringer, their opponent but gets countered with a right hand. What a cutter! And Cross is maintaining the advantage now. This is a good job of keeping Ronda in check. She throws her back in. She does so. Rousey looking to inflict more damage. Opponent up. Nasty to Rowdy Buster. Ronda showing off her impressive combat skills. This is what years of hard work and training look like. Ronda Rousey with her patented arm bars. She's tapped many people out with this. Oh. And that does it. Ronda Rousey captures the win. Here is your winner, 
the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey! Talk about a solid win. Everything went their way here. Only because the opposition got soft. Here comes the prize fighter. A man who always looks ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Maryville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin. Well, he calls himself the prize fighter, and he's earned that moniker as of late. You're absolutely right, Saxon. You have to remember main event battles with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Roman Reigns. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter. Because KO always has his eyes on the prize. Here comes the 330-pounder, Bronson Reed. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed! The kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. We've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches, I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. Something I've come to respect about Kevin Owens is that right or wrong, he always fights for what he believes in. Yeah, KO's internal compass might be unpredictable at times, but he's never afraid to take a stand and scrap for what he thinks is right. And that attitude has at times made Owens the underdog in his matches, but he always manages to give his all in the ring. I'm sure Owens is ready to show us that same heart now. Incoming! High impact missile drop kick! And Reed capitalizes there. Nice clothesline. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And Reed fends that off. He dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh, stop right to the hand. Something about Kevin Owens that I think can catch his opponents off guard is a surprisingly high in-ring motor. How do you counter that, Corey? Well, like you said, KO is seemingly endless energy inside the ring, so trying to... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Where is it? Shoulders down! And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. He is still very much... Playing possum! Shoulders down! No, a kick out! He's far from finished. Oh, God! And he's able to counter. Planning on what to do next. Can't prepare your face for that. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Just a step ahead of Owens. Driven down. Cover! And he gets the shoulder up before two. Not time to expect victory yet. And an elbow drop for added measure. That attack made it look like Owens might have picked too big of a fight. It's looking like Reed's opposition is failing to rise to this challenge. Great counter! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Look at these 
debilitating forearm strikes. Brutality. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Overwhelming offense now from Bronson Reed. Sound strategy trying to pulverize Owens with big hits to show go. Suicide dive. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Both arms trapped and what's next? Ooh, headbutt from the rear. Owens gets control. Up into the electric chair. Power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Get him into the corner. Big elbow. Kick to the gun. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Bronson rising to his possible demise. He's turning the tables. Break that up. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Counters with an attack on Reed. Shoulders down. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. Oh, my, what a splash. And that has to knock all the wind out of you. Look at this crossbody to the floor. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. And Reed is now in a demoralizing spot. Owens is holding nothing back. Just breaking down the opponent. Down to Owens, and a double axe handle smash. Kevin Owens with a sit-out package powerbomb. We wondered what bad intentions Owen had in store for this one, and we just saw them there. And he gets sent back into the ring. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Kicking out in time. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. like this. I guarantee no one had this on their bingo card. Hooked them up. High angle belly of back suplex. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Uh, side coming and fired back. Hoisted by a sit-out driver. Owens cannot recover from that. Cover! And the rope will force a break. Wow. Elbow! The WWE faithful communicating in no uncertain terms. It is electric in here. Right with the point of the elbow. 
Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Sizing him up, getting ready. Uh oh, stun, Owen, stun. KO can end this now. Two. Kevin Owens gets the win. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens. Acting so happy when they cheated to win. That attack earlier on ended up paying dividends, but the referee allowed the match to continue. Look, when victory's on the line, you don't stop to think. You do whatever you have to do to make sure things... A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. Nobody cares! I do not envy the task at hand for this superstar. You are facing a man with all the momentum in the world in Cody Rhodes. The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else. He's a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Cody, 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 Cody. 
since the moment he arrived in WWE, Shinsuke Nakamura has doggedly been pursuing success and glory for himself. Nothing wrong with that. And you know, if I could finish, often at the cost of friendships or his own reputation. We'll see if Nakamura is ready as ever to do anything to grab the win here tonight. And across the ring from him is Cody Rhodes. Cody has really grown up before our eyes and experienced every high and low this business has to offer. Those tests have hardened him and perfected him as a competitor. What you see now isn't so much a grown man as it is a final form. Right to the leg. Fought off with an elbow. Using the ropes. Punishing power slam. Underhook applied. Side effect. Picking the leg. Oh, we gotta see it. Down it. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Oh, what are they doing here? All the way out. Sit out, Gord Buster. A lot of old school toughness in the way Cody Rhodes competes. That can be very difficult to counter. No doubt about his toughness, but Cody's style can sometimes be predictable. If you throw a lot of curveballs his way, I feel like it's definitely possible to catch him on the back foot. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, driven face first into the apron. A collision like that could mark a turning point for this entire match. The American Nightmare. Alabama slam. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. And he slides him back to the mat. Has his opponent nails the crossroads. Can Nakamura come back from that? Two count, three. No, two count. How? How did Shinsuke kick out of that? Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. And Nakamura being impeded on there. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Oh, what a kick! Stomp to the body and followed up by another in the chest. Producing a trampling. Solid punch. These two are clearly fired up going blow for blow. Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned fisticuffs. The fight is on and it's furious. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counts on top of counts. Oh! Ah, impressive counter. Back and forth from these competitors. Oh! Right in the chunk. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Rhodes is feeding off the WWE Universe. Rhodes to the top! Looking for a suplex with their opponent putting on the brakes in a reversal. Cody Rhodes lining it up. Rewards off that offense from Cody. Oh, in the solar plexus. on this 
display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence that never gets old. And you have to wonder if Nakamura can pull off one more big hit to finally get the win. Oh, and a knee to the face. Shinsuke Nakamura. A crashing down landslide. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing ball. Shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh no. Into a chop block. And Rhodes able to reverse that. Close the right the back of the neck. These men have been all gas and can shots up. Does that finish Rhodes for good? Turn around, left the actions behind you. For the win! Two! Well, only two? Cody Rhodes with a defiant kick out, simply refusing to stay down. Not taking flight! Elbow drop! Look at that insult to injury with that one. He knew that was coming. Oh, he knew what was coming. Rhodes about to head to the pay window. And this could do it. Crossroads. Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. Two. He's still in this fight. Somehow, some way, Nakamura continues his battle. He will not stay down. Disbelief on the face of the American nightmare. What's he going to have to do to put this away? Just cranking the head. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. So get in. You earned this. What a display of toughness and stamina to pick up the win here tonight.